Welcome to the Automate Pricing Series. After watching this video, you should be able to understand how to use the Automate Pricing file, assign SKUs to a repricing rule, and stop repricing. We'll also cover some helpful tips so you can make the most use of the Automate Pricing file. Let's get started. Automate Pricing saves you time and effort by adjusting prices based on the rules you set. After you've created a pricing rule in the Automate Pricing Seller Central interface, you can either assign SKUs to that rule or use the Automate Pricing file. The Automate Pricing file gives you greater flexibility when managing a large catalog by letting you assign a rule to thousands of SKUs at a time. There are six steps to assigning SKUs to a rule using the Automate Pricing file. Before we walk you through the process in detail, let's look at an overview of each step. Step 1. Download the Automate Pricing file. Step 2. Select the SKUs you want to assign to a pricing rule. Step 3. Set a minimum and maximum price so your price stays within the range you want. Step 4. Enter the rule you wish to reprice in the Rule Name column. Step 5. Enter Start or Stop, depending on whether you wish to start repricing with a rule or stop repricing and remove the rule from the SKU. And finally, Step 6. Upload the template into Seller Central. Now that you have the steps, let's walk you through them with some examples. To access the Automate Pricing file, log into Seller Central and click Add Products via Upload in the Inventory tab. Select the Download an Inventory File tab and select Inventory Files at the bottom of the screen. Once you do, select the Automate Pricing file. Once the file downloads, you can review the file instructions and data definitions. Next, select the SKUs you want to assign. For our example, we'll enter just three SKUs. For each SKU, you'll need to enter a minimum and maximum item price to ensure your repricing rules don't send your price above or below the limits you want. Now, enter the exact name of the repricing rule you want to assign. To do this, just copy and paste the name from the Automate Pricing Interface. Finally, enter Start or Stop in the Rule Action field. If you select Start, the SKU will be assigned to the rule. If you select Stop, the SKU will stop repricing. If you choose to stop repricing, you don't need to enter a rule name, minimum price, or maximum price. It's a good idea to review your SKUs to make sure the right SKUs have been assigned to the rules you want with the correct minimum and maximum prices. If all the information looks good, save your file as a text tab delimited or .txt file and go back to the Add a Products via Upload screen. Click Check and Upload My Inventory File. Under Step 2, select Automate Pricing from the dropdown. Select Browse and identify your file. Then, upload your file. You can review the feed processing under Monitor Upload Status. As your SKUs process, they will begin repricing. Now that we have shown you how to use the Automate Pricing file, let's review a few tips. First, Automate Pricing honors manual price updates above all. If you choose to assign SKUs using the file, be sure to stop assigning price in the Price and Quantity feed. Every time you change the price using the Price and Quantity feed, your Automate Pricing rules will pause and the price will be propagated from the Price and Quantity feed. Second, remember that no action is taken unless you select Start or Stop. Finally, if you want to stop repricing, all you have to enter is the SKU name and Stop. And that's it! You should now know how to assign your SKUs using the Automate Pricing file. Thanks for watching! Mm -hmm.